Ready, set, brush! Welcome back, sports fans. If you're just joining us, the Griffin Rock Brash Ball team is wiping the floor with themselves in a practice scrimmage leading up to the Intercounty Championship playoffs. Why are you talking into your hand? Didn't you know? That's how all great sportscasters start out. <laughs> That's right. Woohoo! Yeah, Cade. Woohoo! All right. Whoa. Uh oh Whoa! Careful, Jerry! Sorry, Frankie. Running late. Maybe you should take off the moose head? No time! Got deliveries to make! This year, with Kate Burns having a career-high season, things look promising for the Griffin Rock Moose. Mooses. Moose? Hey, Frankie, what's the plural of moose? Moose is both singular and plural. One moose, two moose, three moose. Noble! Your new phone is awesome. But wrong. It's Mises, I'm sure. Sorry, you are incorrect. <laughs> Isn't it great? I got it with all the money I saved up for my babysitting jobs. Cool. And there he there is. There he is. Go. Great job, Kate. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. All right, guys, let's head home. Practice like that calls for victory donuts. Be your mascot, Jerry. It'll be fun, Jerry. Fun. It's like doing gymnastics wearing a couch. What the heck, fuck? Everybody, I'll grab him. Blades, we're gonna need some help. Blades, Danny, how about meats? You know, like geese, even that would make sense. Can we stop talking about this now? Uh, comms must be broken. Yeah, so is this hunk of junk. It's not the comms or your phone. Look. The tower is malfunctioning. Cody, grab the safety flare from my emergency kit. See if you can get Blade's attention. What are you doing? Save me! Let's try this. That usually works. All right, then. emergency flare and all the Mises that is incorrect we needed to get your attention the comms weren't working so phone networks are down too all over the island that's okay I'm more of a texture who calls anyone anymore right the comm tower's been acting up since the last big storm 
Must have finally given out. Can it be fixed? Why don't we call Doc and ask him? Oh, right. Phone's out. Why don't we drive up to Doc's? One question first. Why is there a moose driving Jerry's truck? I've been trying to get this tower replaced since before Frankie was born. And there's nothing you can do to fix it? I'm trying, but the technology is out of date. The tower itself is on its last legs. <clears throat> and I am out of duct tape. Why doesn't the town just buy a new tower? I mean, really, with all the tech work we do in Griffin Rock, you think it would be a priority? The town has to have communications. Even Mayor Lusky must get that. Uh, you're right, my little Marconi. I'll call the mayor at once and set up a meeting. Oh, right. Phone's out. No, oh, I can't be responsible for everything in the city. Actually, Mayor, I believe that is an accurate job description. According to the balance sheets, there was money set aside for a tower. And it's been spent. Oh, so you did buy a new tower? Um, no. But the tower money's been spent. Um, yes. <laughs> but not on the tower. Whoa, communications really have fallen apart. Um, on the mayor's orders, the tower money... In fact, all the city savings were recently used for something called... Yeah, the, uh, uh, um, stadium fund. What stadium? Why, only the biggest new brass ball stadium in North America. Citizens of Griffin Rock, I give you the inflatable, unflappable insta -adium. Caught online at clearance. And you're just in time to see us breathe it to life. <laughs> hey, hey, let's see. Uh, press A and C while holding D. Uh. That's what you spent our money on? It's an investment in our city's future. Why, with a new stadium, Griffin Rock may be able to lure the brass ball big bowl. The league championship here? That would be so noble. Noble indeed. Along with the game, come tourists who eat in our restaurants, stay in our hotels, and make us back the tower money in no time. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, is it too late to return this insta adium? Return it? Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, the Brass Ball Big Bowl board is coming to Griffin Rock for our next game to inspect the stadium and consider our town as host. Mayor, everything I've learned in engineering warns against inflatable structures. No one in the country has mastered them. Well, this isn't from our country. It's from... It, uh, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm sure it's safe. Nothing to worry about. If we inflate it, they will come. But what do we do to communicate until then? Use carrier pigeons? Maybe Salvage can rig something together. At least get the tower working temporarily. I'll call him on the mainland. Uh, oh, r right. Phone's out. <laughs> you want an argon beam coagulator? I could find parts and build one for you in 15 minutes. But this uh, is a little trickier. There. Give that a try. This is the chief. Uh, hello, chief. It's Doc. I'm standing right next to you. What? I said I'm... Sorry, Doc. You're breaking up. That's not the only thing breaking up. Thanks, work. Boulder. Oh, I'm sorry about that, guys. That wasn't even the piece I fixed. It's all right, Salvage. Whatever you did worked. See? I have bars. Should for a while. Not sure how long, though. That's it. We need a new tower immediately. But if the mayor spent the funds, where do we get the money? I think I know. 
family meeting. The same way Frankie started babysitting to earn her new holophone, we could raise money by getting part-time jobs. Wait, on top of being rescuers? Since it is a civic concern, perhaps all Griffin Rock citizens would want to contribute. Until they find out that Lusky already spent the city's savings. At Cody's school, they have bake sales to raise money. That's a great idea. I can make my famous cookies. By my calculations, you would have to sell 287,112.5 cookies to purchase the new communications equipment. That's a lot of olives. Olives? Well, yeah, my secret ingredient. That explains a lot. Look, my school needs a part-time crossing guard. Griffin Rock Taxi needs drivers. And I could get a job delivering papers. Hmm, private landscaper wanted. You're right, this could be fun. As long as it doesn't interfere with rescues, maybe taking side jobs isn't such a bad idea. Oops. Pulling weeds is not landscaping. And not really my thing, huh? Sorry, Boulder. Ah! Sorry, Graham. No! I I can't it. It. You can't do it! Kids! I have my kids! I can't Hi, I'm the new tutor. What? I'm here to teach your kids? Didn't you say they were having trouble with their math? No! With their math! You're the new nanny! Wait! No, I don't... I don't know how... Be back in an hour! Oh, oh, oh. Ma math, anyone? I can play! So I says, here you is, Mac, and he says, who you calling Mac, Mac? And then the big palooka sniffs me on a tip. Fascinating jargon. Okay, Mr. Uh, Chase. Your application looks good. You're hired. You own your own car? In a manner of speaking, yes. Welcome to Mary's birthday party. <laughs> At least one of us gets to keep his dignity. <laughs> And now, with our traffic report, the newest members of our news team, Danny Burns and Blaze. Thanks, Huxley. Traffic looks light downtown. Have a nice commute. Back to you in the... But... Uh-oh. What? What is it, Blades? Looks like Mrs. Rubio is heading to the store. And we know how she drives. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, because it's true. <laughs> Throwing it back to you, H-Town. H-Town? It's good television. All that practice talking into my hand has finally paid off. Something's smoking. Let's check it out. Where to, Mac? <gasps> Hi, Chief. Is there a problem? No, sir. Just delivering your large pepperoni pizza. Hey, team. We have a small fire in a dumpster behind the diner. On my way. My pizza? Right. Sorry. But, um, your money? Got it, Danny. See you in five. Four, on my way. Seatbelt, Mac. What's wrong, dude? <sighs> Used it all at the party. No tip. Thank you for nothing, you big palooka. <gasps> uh, Chase, you might want to work on your people skills. Okay, at this rate, we'll be able to buy that new tower in... ten years and four months. Uh, <sighs> not a great first day, but that doesn't mean we should give up. Right, Cody? Cody? He had a long day, poor kid. And he just got a second job. 
He's taking over for Jerry as the Moose mascot. Oh, that reminds me. The big brash ball game's tomorrow. I'll have to leave the new job early. Not doing the clown. Actually, the mayor has asked that we all be at the game. In stealth mode, of course. What with the out-of-town officials? I will inform my taxi dispatcher that I must take time off my shift. He will not be pleased. <sighs> Cross with caution. Cross with caution. You could walk faster, though. Come on. Hey, cross with caution! <sighs> Not much going on this morning, Huxley. We got cars driving up one side and wait. Yep, more coming down the other way. Pretty exciting. My advice, don't drive with the head on. Yes, that's right. The whole family is coming. So we'll need No cell phones, please. It is hard to focus on the road. What, what? No, 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 that's just a silly driver. Anyway... I will write you a citation for distracting conduct. Yeah, buddy, that's not even a thing. Look, 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 you're not going the right way. Hands off yeah. my wheel, uh, Bob. Give it. Then give it. Give it. Look out. Whoa! Yeah, hi, I'm doing all the work. You're just standing there. Blocking traffic. That's the job. Give it. Look, hi, watch where you're going. Please, sir, I... Look out. You might want to avoid the corner of Franklin and Front Streets. That's one way to empty them. Are you okay, Mr. Sharma? This is the worst taxi ever. And you, Bub, are not much of a fare. You had one job, one job. Watch for cars. Why weren't you watching for pedestrians? All right, all right. It's time to face facts. We just can't do these jobs and our rescue work. Yeah. Sure. I concur. Just what I was thinking. Uh. We'll have to think of a new way to fund that tower. But for now, we have a game to get to. Go loose! Go loose! Shake your caboose! No more excuses! Let's go mooses! Uh, hey, bro, you there? Um, yeah. I must have left my cleats at home. Do me a favor, pick them up, bring them to the stadium for me. And leave these kids? Absolutely. Welcome to Griffin Rock. I know you'll enjoy every moment. We'll see. Kate! Thanks, bud. You saved the day. What do you forget this time? His cleats. Wait. Cleats? Yeah, you know, sports shoes with little spikes. Spikes? Oh, no. Follow me. One, two, three. That's everybody. You're lucky I don't expel you from the entire league after that little catastrophe.
Yeah, I'll call you. Yeah, well, it, once we fix our phones. Maybe now you can get that refund. Discount sale. No refunds. I'll call High Tide to come help clean up. He'll love this story. I... I'm sorry. I, I really thought this would work. Now we have no stadium. And no tower. We tried our best. But we can't do our rescue work and hold down part-time jobs. That's why you all took on extra work? To help raise money for the town? How very generous. Well, here's what I owe you for the pizza. And let's just call this a tip. I am happy to make an offering. If you promise you will never work as a taxi again. Gladly, you big palooka. Do you take credit right. cards? Here you go. I guess this means I go back to talking into my hand. We can still do our traffic reports, even if it's just for us. Mayor Lusky, can you hear me? Hello? Hey. Hello? Hello? Oh, don't tell me this thing doesn't... Oh, <laughs> yes, it, thanks. Uh, hello? time again. Yes, folks, Mayor Lusky's seventh term of office is coming to an end, which means his campaign for re-election is in full swing. You know, a new mayor might do this town some good. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. Lusky's a one-man political machine. Nobody ever runs against him. Why does he even bother to still campaign? He wants to assure a landslide. Hey, uh, is this on? And he likes the attention. Remember, Remember a, a vote, vote for me is a vote for a man of integrity. An open book with nothing to hide. Sometimes I wonder how he stays in office. People in Griffin Rock have short memories. You kind of have to to live here. You got to admit, his campaigns are sort of fun. He always has some crazy stunt planned. Now, I know I promised you all lunch, and you asked, where is it? Well, don't look now, but look! I'm having it delivered! <laughs> This stunt has disaster written all over it. Oh, my. A blue team patrol with four bats and stasis. He's been in a poke, kill the strangest of places. Earth was their home, now and in addition. Optimus Prime gave them his mission. Learn from the human, serve and protect. Live in their world, earn their respect. A family of heroes will be your allies. Two others remain robots in disguise. Roll to the rescue. A hero. about folks it's all under control who likes pepperoni that's it i'm calling for an emergency town meeting right now wonderful idea i'll gladly preside we have chief burns for that 
You are not invited. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah. I, I'm mayor. You cannot not invite me. Actually, sir, according to the city charter, they can cannot. I may be a while. Save me some dinner. Anything but pizza. <laughs> Folks, you'll all get your chance, one at a time. We've had it up to here with Lusky and his shenanigans. He's reckless and self-serving. I assure you, Mayor Lusky only wants the best for our town. Think of his accomplishments. More like problems. Nonsense. What problems? Let's go to tape. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh. Give me that. Those problems. The public has spoken, folks. Surely there's a candidate out there with an unflagging sense of civic duty. A no-nonsense approach to law enforcement. Chase! Yes? <laughs> What's so funny? We're citizens of this town. Why shouldn't we be taken seriously? I agree. What are we talking about? You, running for mayor. Frankie and I can be your campaign managers. Chase for mayor. It does have a rather satisfying ring to it. And it could be a good way to learn more about the human political process in general. But maybe we should help write your speeches. I am not fond of public speaking, especially in front of others. And I have my duties as a rescue bot. No, I could not seek public office without Chief's approval. I'm all for it. You could still handle your other duties. Being mayor here doesn't have to be a full-time job. <laughs> mayor Lusky sure proved that. Vacation much? Come on, Chase. What do you say? I accept your nomination. Yes! All right, Chase! Yes! 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 Noble! Vote for Chase. Good for Griffin Rock. Good for America. Lots not to like. Vote for Chase. <laughs> what a joke! As if a bot could be mayor. How would he host dinners or, or, or talk to the mainland? Actually, I handle all your calls to the mainland, sir. Well, I eat my own dinners. Frankly, I'm all for chase running. A bot in the race will keep out any serious rivals. Hello? It's the fire truck bot, sir. Chase wants to, uh, debate you. Tell him bring it on. Nobody argues like H.B. Lusky. So, I think it's pretty clear from my record and experience that I uh, know a thing or two about Griffin Rock. Candidate Chase, your response. I... um... I... Uh, I my speech. Forget the speech. Just say what's in your spark. The mayor claims to know a thing or two about Griffin Rock. Then I suppose you know that it yields the highest main island blueberry crop per capita, has an anthem written for musical saw, and stands on a bedrock of lava. Wow, that is quite impressive information. Uh, well, I don't know about lava, but I know I love being mayor. <laughs> it, uh, this is on. Let's go to the questions from our crowd. For Mayor Lusky. What is your stand on bond issue 7A on the upcoming ballot? Yeah, my, my, my stand? Yeah, well, uh, I... Yeah. What is bond issue 7A? Perhaps I can be of assistance. Bond issue 7A would provide for upgrades in the town's infrastructure. It would, however, also raise property taxes by 1% over the next decade, amounting to pennies a year for the average citizen. I believe the benefits far outweigh the costs, and am therefore all for it. Yes, that's reasonable. I agree. Noble! Crushed it! Mr. Mayor, your response? My, my response? My re This is a farce! That's my response. An alien bot is in no way qualified to be mayor! The election code requires only that a candidate be a citizen in good standing and a resident of Griffin Rock for three years, as I believe I am. Yeah! What do you think of my mini molecular collider, CC? Once it's running, this device will provide valuable data that will advance molecular physics. <sighs> Everyone's a critic. Poles are looking great. I should hope so, given that this is a firehouse and I do polish them on a regular basis. No, these kind of polls. They show how many people plan on voting for you. Now you 
you have to really get out there. Knock on doors, shake hands, and campaign in earnest. And Ernest has agreed to this? What a... Oh, schmoles! All my campaign needs is a big dose of a little Lusky-style pizzazz. Hey, what's Lusky doing with that bull? It's supposed to be crushing trash at the dump. We'd better call Dad before this whole town gets trashed. Vote for me, the no bull candidate. I've got the bull by the horn. A bull horn. Get it? I have shaken hands. Do you have any babies you would like kissed? Listen up, team. We have a 415 in progress. Mechanical bull running wild. It's already trashed the bank. <laughs> Somebody call 911! No need, citizen. I am 911. And with 94% of the precincts reporting, we can now predict that Griffin Rock's mayor will be Chase, a rescue bot. <laughs> what? I... 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 Oh, yes! You won! <sighs> he won? They like you! They really, really like you! Way to go, Chase! Finally, no more we lusky. Knew you could do it. Nicely done, partner. And now comes the hard part, the job. To prepare, I have studied the writings of Earth's politicians from the past 2,170 years. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chase, you've made your point. The town will see bots as equals, but you can't actually take office. Your mission is to protect humans. A mission I believe will be enhanced by being mayor. Oh. <clears throat> Repeat after me. I, then state your name. I, then state your name. No, <laughs> your name, Chase. Yes. And your name, Alper. No! Uh, I mean... Uh, congratulations, you are now mayor of Griffin Rock. Yeah! Speech! 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 Rather than speak words, I would prefer to perform deeds. Right. Here are the budgets from the past 15 years as requested, Mr. May... Here? Why are the lights off? After examining our spending, I have determined that City Hall's electric bill is far too high. From now on, we work in the dark. Also, we seem to be spending quite a bit of money on keys. Well, Mayor Lusky always lost his, and so he made extras and hid them. Tisk tisk. There is far too much waste. For example, if we used two staples instead of three, we would save over seven dollars a year. I have also reviewed our zoning laws, and there is a problem regarding Dr. Green's lab. Sir? If I may, there's a lot more to being mayor than just knowing every law and expenditure. You need to meet with citizens, make nice with business leaders, you know, help them cut through the red tape. Ah, I understand. Please bring me all the red tape in the supply closet and some scissors. No, I mean... Uh, yes, sir. I wonder how Chase is doing in his first day in office. Ask him yourself. He's on line one. Chief. It has come to my attention that there are several zoning infractions and long, unenforced laws that need addressing. Oh? Such as? Such as Ordinance 519. No dog walking on alternate Fridays. <laughs> that law is a throwback to before we had a dog park. The law is the law. Your ancient Roman politician Marcus Aurelius believed that without laws, we have no civilization. Well, I don't think he owned any dogs, and besides... Then there's the matter of garage sales, which require a seller's permit to operate. I need you to shut down any that do not comply. Look, Chase... Ahem. <sighs> Mayor Chase, I know you mean well, but some folks rely on those garage sales to make ends meet. 
And besides, the rescue team can't spend time on these kinds of small matters. When it comes to the law, there are no small matters. Ah! Mr. Mayor, you startled me. Did you sleep here? I do not require sleep. Lucky me. I spoke to Doc Green. He says he has the lab permit you asked for. He's just picking it up at the Hall of Inspiration. Ah, well, in the meantime, he cannot be allowed to run a research facility in a residential area. Please shut down the lab temporarily until he produces the permit. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> what on Jupiter's moons? As promised, folks, an exclusive interview with new Mayor Chase. Uh, but first, you had a statement? Yes. I have been studying traffic patterns, and I intend to implement a few changes for the public good. First of all, statistics indicate most automotive accidents occur on two-way streets. Thus, all streets will now be one way. <gasps> uh, okay, but uh, wouldn't that... And the speed limit will now be 10 miles per hour everywhere, at all times. Except for rescue vehicles en route to an emergency. <sighs> I think we created a monster. This is all the mayor's fault! You think this is bad? He shut down my garage sale! Now I gotta bring all this stuff to the dump! <sighs> this no dog walking rule is preposterous. How is Cupcake supposed to hold it this long? After only 24 hours in office, the honeymoon is apparently over for our new mayor. When asked to comment, Mayor Chase said, I was elected to do a job, not win a popularity contest. Actually, that's kind of what an election is. Emergency team, there's a billboard about to fall off the roof on South Cherry. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! Chief to Chase, will your honor be joining us for the rescue? The mayor extends his apologies, but he has a council meeting as well as some business regarding Doc Green to attend to. Attention, folks. Let's keep traffic moving. And how are we supposed to do that with a 10 mile per hour speed limit? Fair question. Bad enough he's a no-show, but Chase's laws are keeping us from doing our jobs. Come on! and they couldn't come down. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm starting to miss Lusky. There it is, the office of our esteemed mayor. <laughs> this is the police, pull over. Chase, what's this all about? You are in violation of traffic code 12, excessive speeding. But rescue vehicles get an exception. Don't you listen to your own speeches? That exception is only when going to a rescue, not when returning from one. I am sorry, but I am only following orders from the mayor. But you are the mayor! At this moment, I am acting in my capacity as a police vehicle. But if you would care to meet with me as mayor, I can have my assistant make the arrangements. For your convenience, you may pay the fine at City Hall by mail or online. Have an acceptable day. Chief, my micro super collider. I left it on at the lab. Okay, Doc, but why don't you just... I'm locked out. Apparently, Mayor Chase activated the remote security shutdown while I was at the Hall of Inspiration. Chase, why would you possibly... Dr. Green was unable to produce the proper permit for... Now you've gone too far. Being in charge is more than enforcing rules without considering who's affected or what might happen. 
I'm afraid what might happen just did. My molecular collider is in the red zone. Its electrons are bonding in highly unstable ways. English, it's bad. If I don't get back into my lab immediately, the resulting fusion could cause an explosion large enough to destroy the island. Pretty sure that's against some laws. I was and am simply attempting to do my duty as mayor. What about your duty as a rescue bot? Doc needs our help to get into the lab and shut down his gizmo. Are you in? Uh, come on, we'll do it without him. No, this is my responsibility. I turn the security system on, I can turn it back off. I cannot turn it back off. What? Oh my. The key needed for that is missing. You told me not to order any copies. And who knows where Mayor Lusky put his? Cody, I need you to track down our former mayor. I'll explain later. I'm headed to docks now. You mean we are headed to docks. Mr. Alper, cancel my meetings. I have a rescue to attend. Welcome back, partner. Max Titanium Alloy. Not a dent. Oh dear, it's happening. Fusion has begun. Mayor, please, put down the prune juice. Griffin Rock needs you. you. Didn't need me on election day, did they? They do now. Your security override key is the only thing that can protect the island. The key? Well, why didn't you say so? Mayor or not, Griffin Rock is my town. Let's go save it. 20 seconds. 19. 18. It's too late. No, it's not. Bull? Again? Now with blue sunglasses. See? I learn from my mistakes. Which is why, as mayor, I hid these all over town. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, four, three, two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Way to go. Well done. Oh, finally. <laughs> you okay, Chase? Being mayor is more complicated than I had thought. Speaking from my spark, I almost regret having been elected. Well, you could always step down. But I have my civic duty. Traffic jams everywhere, angry citizens, teammates who need you. At this point, I'd say stepping down is your civic duty. It is with great regret that I announce the end of my mayoral career. I am now resigning. Yes! Thank you, but my mind is made up. As per city charter, my replacement is the election's runner-up, the former, and about to be again mayor, Mayor Lusky. I am glad to hear you have learned from your mistakes. And yours. Cue the fireworks! Please panic in an orderly fashion. This is Huxley Prescott reporting live from the zoo, where feline fans are flocking to celebrate the 25th birthday of our beloved cross-eyed lion. Found separated from his pride when he was just a cub, our lion was raised by a human family. When he outgrew their home, he became the first resident of the Griffin Rock Zoo, an institution built to care for animals that could not survive by themselves in the wild. To celebrate the main event, Zookeepers have redesigned our lion's home with new technology. 3D holograms of Kenya. A flowing river. An extra room to run. We have to wish Whiskers happy birthday. I made him a card and everything. <laughs> he'll probably just try to eat it, but I'm sure he'll appreciate the thought. Let's go. It's time to welcome our lion to his new lair. Ready? Happy birthday! Where's Whiskers? Ladies and gentlemen, this can only mean one thing. If there's no animal down there, he must be up here. A lion is loose in the zoo! <laughs> hey, watch it! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
this news report has been interrupted by another exciting episode of I Dare Me. <sighs> Though I wish I hadn't. No, 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 no. <laughs> seen the lion? Last time Whiskers escaped, everyone knew about it. Let's check with Chief to see if anyone's reported anything. Uh, can you drop me off at my van? Dad and I watched last night's zoo security footage, and you're not gonna like it. I'd recognize that tech anywhere. Quint Quarry. Just one problem. Corey's still in jail on the mainland. I called to check myself. He's there. And he's not a hologram. Won't fall for that again. So who else could it be? Yeah, who'd want to steal an old cross-eyed lion? Ahem. We were adopting him that time, thank you very much. Even if Corey didn't do it, he's gotta know who did. They're using his tech and everything. Maybe we can ask him. I doubt Corey would talk to us. Or that we could trust anything he said. Please, Chief, we have to try. For Whiskers' sake. I don't know anything about your blooming lion, so just leave me alone. Where's my tucker? Pot pie day. Hooroo! Now what? We don't even know where to start looking for Whiskers. I've contacted the mainland police to help us search. The doc's examining the video to try to find a way to track that helijet. We're bound to get a lead soon. Meantime, we have a job to do. Emergency Prep Week. Joyous exclamation. This year, we will finally be able to take part in the community safety drills and emergency gear checks. Well, when you say it like that, yeah, I'm still not excited. I know changing smoke alarm batteries and updating disaster kits isn't glamorous, but it is important. And the faster we get started, the faster we'll be done. Shelter MB37. This one's right under downtown, so it takes a lot of wear. And tear. Looks like people would be safer outside this shelter. Oh, termites. We're gonna have to rebuild all the supports in here. After we finish checking out the other shelters. There, last one downstairs. Excellent. We may now test the firehouse sprinkler system. Good idea, partner. We can check the pipes outside. Or that works too. Remember, if an earthquake hits, stay away from windows, get low, and cover your head. Okay, now let's practice. Ready? Pretend the ground is shaking. Oh, no! Kashuta! An earthquake! It's the big one! Save my baby! Remind me not to let you help with a tsunami drill. All right, so we need to replace all the expired emergency rations. I really thought being part of everyday Griffin Rock would be more exciting. Quit complaining and stack beans. Mr. Prescott, here's your emergency prep week checklist. Mm-hmm. Just put it there. I'll read it when I'm done with my big catnapping story. Wait. What was the name of the family that adopted the lion cub? Checking my sources, huh? Q something. Uh, here it is. Quarry. Quint Quarry. He does know something. Hey! If you get any leads, remember this is my story. Mine! I still don't think he'll talk to you, son, but you can try. You got 
I'll ruse loose in the top paddock. I'll set leave me alone. Sorry, Mr. Corey. I just wanted to ask you to help us get our lion back. He means so much to the town. We want him to be safe and happy. I bet you want that too. Since you grew up with him. Well, well. You got the spirit of the hunter in you, Kittywink. And since you're hot on the scent, I'll help you out. But tell dear old Daddy I'll need a little something in return. Now don't try any funny stuff. We're just as tough as the mainland jail here. Uh, you want pudding with dinner or pie? We'll take it from here, Barney. Well, Mr. Quarry, we made good on our part of the deal. My turn, right. Well, the fella you're looking for is Lord Thurston Chumley, my arch rival. Stole most of my game and all of my tech. So that's why it looked familiar. Is Lord Chumley a hunter too? Not like me. Keeps his animals in stasis, like a stamp collection. The rarer, the better. That must be why he took whiskers. His eyes are special. If you got another critter Chumley wants, you might be able to set a trap for him. I'll do whatever I can to help. Hunter's honor. I don't like Quarry's plan. Why would he help us? Because he doesn't like Chumley. Well, for once, I agree with him. Well, there's still the problem of finding an animal special enough to get Chumley's attention. Problem solved. Nothing rarer than a Dinobot. I'm not sure. Quarry managed to take you bots prisoner. Who's to say Chumley won't do the same? Me, because this time we'll be ready for him. And on the remote chance we are captured, you can track our location to Lord Thurston. And Whiskers. All right, if you're sure. I'll have Quarry get a message to Chumley. See if he takes our bait. All right, Dad. The bot's tracers are online. Everyone's in place, Cody. Got him, Dad. You sure those EMP cannons will work? I tested them yesterday. One pulse should freeze a Q-drone, but it won't stop a bot. Cade, you guys see anything yet? Nothing yet. Let me translate. No. And apparently I can't go 10 seconds without eating. We're missing my midnight snack. Get ready. Now! Report in, team. What's going on? Uh, I'll get back to you. Cody, what's happening? Have the drones been taken out yet? We've been tricked. The drones released some of the zoo animals. And they're after my family. We'll take care of it. Rescue bots, roar to the rescue. Ah! Heatwave, be careful. Chumley's helijet's moving in. What happened? 
happened? The bots are gone. Cody, do you have a visual? The Helijet took off to the northeast, Dad. Too dark to tell anything else. Graham, can you track the bot signal? Um, let's see. I, I, I can't really... Is that a, is that a dot? Or... I, no. Dude, are those your glasses? Some plan. I have a feeling we were set up. Oh, uh, our tracking devices aren't working. The scoundrel is no doubt blocking their transmission. Look, I've studied those earth animals. A white gorilla, a hairy-nosed wombat. They're extremely rare. Chumley's private zoo. He must be holding whiskers elsewhere. A dodo bird. But those are extinct. You'd need a time machine to get one. That's what they'll be saying about us in a little while. Not if I can help it. We get out, split up, and find Whiskers. Stop! Someone's coming! A good show! Quite impressive. You might not be real animals, but you open up a whole new category of collectibles. Oh, I should call it... Robotic wonders. Oh, drones? Prepare them for display. New plan. Follow my lead. <laughs> Jolly good. Well done. A rare find indeed. <laughs> Quarry will be so jealous. Something go wrong? You know it did. You warned Chumley about our plan. Now, why would I do that, boy -o? I told you, we're enemies. Where is headquarters, Quarry? Where'd he take the dinos? I was hoping you'd be able to tell me. You know, if you let me out of the clink, I might be able to help you find him. That'll never happen. Well, they're your dinos. I just figured you might like to see him again, Zol. Come on, Cody. We'll see if Graham found anything out. There's no signal. Wherever the bots are, something's jamming their trackers. And comms. I'll research this Chumley guy. Maybe it'll give us a clue where to look for him. I'll fly reconnaissance with Taylor. See if there's any sign of the Helijet. And I'll give up donuts till Heatwave comes back. I know. But we all have to make sacrifices. Besides, I know Heatwave. He'll get out of this. I hope you're right. I'm sure he is, son. While you three look for the bots, Cade can help me with emergency prep week. Report in. Any sign of whiskers? Nothing. Not yet. Negative. Keep looking. And let's meet in. Whoa! Heatwave? Hello? Mm, silence. That's never a good sign. Whiskers! Do you know how long we've been looking for you? Good kitty. Two new pets caged, two to go. Here, whiskers, whiskers. Here, large feline, come in. Carolina parakeets. Where does he find these things? Hmm. Hello, little fella. How'd you like to do me a favor? You don't have to go too far. Just out of range of the jamming device. There you go. Fly free. Dad! One of the bot's tracking chips just became active. That's great news, son. Everyone, meet me at the firehouse. Be there in a few, Dad. Just finishing up an evacuation drill in the underground shelter. Wait, which underground shelter? A tunnel, under downtown, what's the big deal? It's unstable. Boulder and isolated it to be reinforced. Oh, looks fine to me. Get under there! 
there! Hurry! Guys, the shelter collapsed! We'll be there as fast as we can, son. This is when I miss Heat Wave. That's off the record. It'll take days to dig through that. And I'm worried Kate's shelter won't last that long. I wish I hadn't waited for Boulder to do those repairs. Don't beat yourself up. We're all used to relying on the bots. Too bad they're stuck somewhere acting like animals. Hey. What if we had some animals here who could act like bots? You think lemurs are gonna help us out of this mess? Not exactly. Do you happen to have a peanut butter sandwich? That's the last time I follow you for a safety drill. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, good job, everybody. You passed. That was a great idea, Cody. Now let's get this elephant back to the zoo and roll to the rescue. In what? Being a test pilot has its perks. Eyes peeled, guys. We're right on top of the tracking signal. All I see is a bird. Get out of the way! No, that's the source of the signal. I must have picked up one of the bot's trackers. Wait, I know that bird from Boulder's extinct animal book. That's a Carolina parakeet. I've heard of those. They never travel far from their flock. Boulder must have known that, which means they're close. You think that's Lord Shumley's? What was your first guess? Bots must be somewhere below decks. Let's split up and search. Heat wave! Is that you? What, you were expecting Starscream? I found whiskers and blades. I have Chase. Thanks. Guess a little birdie told you where I was, huh? We found Boulder. No one is allowed in my menagerie except me! Then again, I don't have any humans in my collection, do I? Silver lining and all that. word for me. I'd say that's fitting. Now let's take our lion and go home. But what about the other animals? They helped us. The least we can do is help them. They deserve homes, like whiskers. Stately creatures should not be frozen. I speak from experience. You bots have more humanity than some people. These creatures won't all fit in our zoo. What about a nature preserve? Quarry can't use his island in jail. We could put them there. I think the mainland authorities would cooperate, especially once we hand over Chumley. I think he likes his present. Griffin Rock emergency. Whoa, Barney, slow down. What do you mean Quarry's gone? It's those Q drones again. They flew in and let Quarry out. Boulder, I need a lift. Cody, check the jail camera and let me know what you find. Mr. Quarry? Where are you? Don't bother trying to find me. You can hear my island for your pets. I got no plans to chase your dinos again. I reckon it'd be best if you did the same for me. Did you set us up all along? Just so you could escape? I figured it was a fair trade. I get my tech back, and you get my brother. You're... Yeah, he was always ashamed of our family. That's why I changed his name. You see, we catch and release. He keeps what he finds. You can understand why we're not best mates. So thanks for your help. Good day, Cody.
falls in the woods. Nobody hears it? Did it really make a sound? I am confused. Are trees beyond the limits of human hearing? No, Chase. It's just one of those questions that's supposed to make you stop and think. I have stopped, but I do not know what to think. Well, I think it makes me sad, especially if these trees are falling. They're endangered. That's why we're here, to see if someone's been cutting them down. Wait! I've never seen anything like this before. There's our lumberjack. Oh no, Milo? How could you do that to these poor trees? Milo, you know these giant spruce trees are protected by law. Yeah, I mean, no, no, it's not what you think. I didn't cut these down, they just fell. Hmm, did they make a sound? What? Guys, he's telling the truth. Look, this trunk was cracked, not cut. I guess they fell naturally, from a storm maybe, or old age. Then what's the chainsaw for? Uh, my hobby, see? I figured I'd at least put these logs to good use. There's no law against that, is there? That's nice work, Milo. Ooh, can we get a firehouse, Gnome? We cleared this area for wildfire season just a few months ago. All these trees have fallen since then? It does seem odd. Hey, look! It's more of those flowers you saw, Boulder. <laughs> Sick. I'll bring a bark sample back to the lab for Graham to look at. And maybe I could fix you up too, little red guy. This is so exciting. It's a flower. You've seen one before. Not this species. We're not even sure what it is. My 3D scanner should be able to identify it. Ah! Ow! in pain or at a snacks. I'm applying to teach a first responders web seminar, but for some reason they need a creative writing sample. Uh, what does that have to do with firefighting? Just make up a story. How hard can it be? You make up a story. It's hard. Huh, no identification found. That's because you didn't look in Griffin Rock Tales and Legends. The rare Northern Red Fairy Bell. The settlers of Griffin Rock believed fairies lived in the woods and used these tiny bell-shaped flowers to signal each other when people were near. My grandpa used to tell me stories like that. Stay away from those flowers, he'd say, or the fairies will play tricks on you. Wait, what? Is this real? No, just fairy tales, Blades. Like Little Red Riding Hood, Rapunzel, Hansel and Gretel going into the enchanted forest, and at the end of the stories, always living happily ever after. Hmm. That is not how stories work where we come from. Ooh, good. Stories. Tell me one. Well, the most famous example is the story of the bot who didn't keep his visor clean. <clears throat> one day, a bot went out with a dirty visor and met a prime, who warned him to keep a clean visor. Or you'll be sorry. But the bot didn't listen. And the next day, he again encountered the prime. Okay, it happens two more times, Chase. We get it. What happens to the bot? He is eaten by a giant space monster. Okay. Ooh. Actually, that's how most of our stories end. Hello? Uh, Taylor. Well, it's uh, been a while. Where are you? So remember how I always talked about taking pictures from the old reservoir tower? You know, because of the great view? Well, the, the door's kind of old, and, well, guess what? It locks behind you, and... Cut to the chase. How am I involved? 
I'm trapped. Can you come help? <sighs> On my way. Blades, let's go rescue Taylor. Of course, he only calls when he needs help. I know the feeling. Well, the tests confirm it. The spruce trees show evidence of arboreal infection, which compromised the integrity of their root structure. Blah 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 blah. I need words. Come on, bro, translate. Tree sick, tree fall, go boom. But only if a human or Autobot is present to witness said boom. I'd like to look at those diseased trees firsthand. I can take you to the grove we found them in. We'll come too. I'm worried this might turn into a bigger problem. Hey, Frankie. What's up? I'm going to Mrs. Niederlander's cabin. Wanna come? She's stuck up there with a nasty cold, and Dad made some of this special cure-all chicken soup for her. Can I, Dad? I don't know. You kids shouldn't be alone out there in the woods. I'll go with them. Cade will, too. What? Who knows? Maybe something will happen, and you can turn into a story. Hello? Mrs. Niederlander? Huh? That's weird. What's weird? She probably just went for a walk. See? That's why you can't think of anything to write. You have to use your imagination. Okay. It looks like she left in a hurry. Her oatmeal's still on the table. Mmm. Not too hot. Not too cold. Just right. If you like oatmeal. Kate, you want a good story? You might want to see this. Wolf Prince. <laughs> If it is a wolf, it's a pretty small wolf. Or a big white cat. Mr. Pettipaws probably just ran off, and Mrs. Niederlander went after him. I guess that makes more sense. Yeah, but it's not a good story. Come on, guys, use your imaginations. Here, footprints. I bet we'll get answers if we follow these. Now, we are getting somewhere. fairy stuff, are you? Think they're gonna play tricks on us? Maybe they already have. Like, where did the prince go? Forget that. Where'd the path go? How can we be lost? The island's not that big. Don't worry, guys. I've been dropping crackers behind us. We can follow them back to... Okay. <laughs> now we're lost. I never thought I'd say it, but flying is definitely more fun than walking. Well, next time, I'll tell Taylor to get lost somewhere you can land. Or to just get lost. Ugh. Um, why are we helping him if you don't even like him? I like him. It's just sometimes he does things that bug me. This reminds me of a Cybertronian story where these two bots... Just the ending, please. ...eaten by a giant space monster. Again? Hello! Blades, will you please tell Taylor that we're happy to get him down, but that doesn't mean I want to talk to him. But he's right there. <sighs> Greetings, Taylor. I bring a message from Danny who says we're happy to... Yeah, Blades, I can hear her. Danny, Taylor says he can hear you. I'll just get him down. Thanks, both of you. I'm sorry again for the trouble. It's just, I wanted to take some pictures of the old tower before I leave Griffin Rock. What? Taylor says he wanted to take some pictures of the old... You're leaving? That's odd. I thought for sure this is where the grove was. Then where did all the fallen trees go? Perhaps Milo took them away for his art projects. No, the only equipment strong enough to move giant spruces that quickly is... Well, you guys. Unless... it was the fairies. Boulder, the fairies aren't real. They're just stories people made up to explain natural phenomena. You 
No, that's the third time we've passed this tree. Impossible. A rescue bot's sense of direction is infallible. Usually. Is that Mr. Pettipaws? Whoa. Spooky. This story's getting better and better. That took poor Mr. Pettipaws. A wolf with the cold? Achoo! Mrs. Niederlander? What are you doing in here? I was waiting for my oatmeal to cool when Mr. Pettipaws chased something out the door. I ran after him, the little devil. Led me all the way into this cave. Well, good thing we got here to save you. Save me? I didn't need any saving, you big fire hydrant. We were just on our way out. Well, that's just wonderful. We would have been out of here by now if you hadn't come by. Hey, at least now I have plenty to write about. Except for a happy ending. I can provide that. Show off. <sighs> Moving away from Griffin Rock. Huh. Well, I didn't really... Guys? No, it's okay. I mean, it's not like we spend much time together anyway. Guys, look! The trail is gone! Well, at least the scenery's nice. Grandpa said about red flowers and the fairies playing tricks. Uh, it'll be fine. Come on, group shot. Ah! Ah! Hey, that's mine. Stay here, I'll be right back. Where would we go? We're lost. No room to fly. Can we just find our way out of here, please? As soon as Taylor gets back. <laughs> well, hello there, little guy. How did you get a hold of Taylor's camera? Wait! Don't you see? That is Taylor! The fairies turned him into a frog. Oh, Blades, that is just silly. Come on, the crow dropped the camera, the frog got tangled up in the strap, and... <laughs> Don't worry, Taylor. I know what to do. Kiss him! What? Like in the story. Oh, the one with the space monster? No! The fairy tale where the prince gets turned into a frog, and the only thing that will turn him back is a kiss. Okay, first of all, Taylor is no prince. And even if he was, who says I need a prince? Plus, there's no way I am kissing a frog. You hurt his feelings. It's okay, Taylor. She didn't mean it. He's getting away. It's okay, Blades. I have the camera. <laughs> Gotcha. We'll get the fairies to reverse the spell somehow. Until then, you'll be safe in here. <laughs> he tickles. What's that? I told you. Angry fairies! GPS. Danny? What are you all doing here? 
Getting lost. Is everything okay? Except for the bats and a frog. Oh, oh, and Taylor's missing. Danny! Everybody! This way! Over here! Look what I found! The very growth we have been searching for. How'd you find it? What? No! This! Fairies! Yes! The bats left the second they saw them. Physical proof of supernatural beings? I am still dubious. I have more proof right here. They turned Taylor into a frog! What? Taylor? I told you, it's not... Big fairies? You were taking me back to my cabin. Everybody's a little lost today, Mrs. Niederlander. Watch it, Heat Wave. Be careful not to step on the fairies. On the what? You big fool. That's not fairies. It's fairy dust. What? Mrs. Niederlander, Noble. I don't... Going in the story. I'm assuming everyone heard those trees fall. Yes, Chase. Boulder, can you get up that incline? Pretty steep, but I'll try. We'll have your back. Chase, Blades! Stay here, Taylor. I'll be back. Taylor! Taylor! Blades, I told you, that is not... Hey, I'm up here! Oh, good, you found my camera. I took a wrong turn and got totally turned around, almost like somebody put a spell on me. Aha! See? Fairies. Well, of course it's the fairies. What do you think Mr. Pettipaws was chasing in the first place? So, you believe in fairies? Why shouldn't I? They've lived in these woods forever. I've seen them lots of times, ever since I was a little girl. Fairies are as real as aliens from outer space. Got you there. Uh, Mrs. Niederlander, I'd like to write your story down. Do you mind saying it all over again? Of course I mind you, nincompoop. <laughs> Come on, team. Let's get out of here. Guess this is exactly how you wanted to spend your last days in Griffin Rock. Last days? Where's he going? Where are you going, Taylor? Taylor's leaving the island. That's too bad. We'll miss you. Wear your seatbelt. Wait, who said anything about leaving? Uh, you did? Oh, well, yeah. But I didn't mean now. What? I meant someday. Like, I might move away. I'm sorry. Maybe we just need to talk more often. Well, yeah. Starting with tonight? Well, yeah. Just as I suspected, this fairy dust is actually a network of webs formed by thousands of tiny spider mites. Spiders? Great! Because bats and frogs weren't enough to deal with. That's why the trees have been falling. The spider mites' webs might be pretty, but they spread a disease fatal to spruce trees. Which also explains the sinkhole. The roots of the dead trees became weak. And the ground gave way. 
I bet Daddy has some sort of treatment for the disease. Then we'll definitely be able to save the trees that are left. Ahem! <coughs> oh, Mrs. Niederlander, let's get you a ride home. Once we find our way out of here. Look, the path was here all along. But how? Guess the fairies can make us see whatever they want us to. And they solve the puzzle of the fairies and the sinkhole. <laughs> Is this creative writing or what? Those seminar people are gonna love it. You forgot the end. Uh, happily ever after? Eaten by giant space monsters. Look. No way. Mrs. Niederlander was right. It's Griffin Rock. Anything can happen. 